Hi, I'm Adam from DunaDrum.com and today I'm going to be teaching you about green screen and how to key it out so you can put yourself wherever you want. And I already have snazzy cool backgrounds. And yeah, it's a, it's a really cool background. It re reacts to my voice and, you know, and you know, plays, plays the guitar. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to key some stuff out now with key light. This is the project from that video that I just showed you a second ago. Um, here is my green screen footage which has been brought in with Adobe Dynamic Link from Premiere Pro. If you want to know more about that, click the annotation and I made a tutorial on that. I'm just going to drag this down to the new composition icon and I'm going to make this composition here. And as you can see this is just the normal footage with no effects or anything on it. The first thing you can see about the footage is that these edges there's sort of the green screen edge there and there's a bit of shadow there that's kind of annoying and we can actually get rid of these without the key to make the keying a bit easier and what we're going to do to that is we're going to mask them out using the pen tool so I'm just going to grab the pen I'm just going to sort of draw, just draw around this bit and then I'm going to click on M for mask and then just turn this to subtractive so it subtracts it I'm pretty sure no point in the video to go over that side, but I do go over this side. Oh, you can see just there. It's kind of a, it's kind of a bit annoying. We can just play with the mask a bit. To be honest, what I would suggest to do is shoot your green screen better than I have for this, because I didn't do it very well. And then for this shadow, it doesn't really matter because at no point do we go over it. So I can also just use the pen tool again and just mask that out. Turn that subtractive. And then when I add the key, it'll just make things a tiny bit easier. Now to add the key, we're going to go up to effects and keying and key light. This is the effect I like to use to key out the background just because it seems to work so well. Um, first thing you need to do is select your screen color with this little eyedropper tool. I always tend to try and find the darkest colour of the green in the background and select that because it helps key it out a lot easier. Now you look at that and you might think, well that's pretty cool. But what we're going to do is where it says view, we're going to select combined matte. And this will give us a better representation of what's actually been keyed out. The bits in white are the bits that are staying and the bits in black are the bits that are going away. That's a technical term. And the first thing that I'm going to do is if you select this little swatch here, you can actually move around the green so you can actually get a better colour as you see there. I'm just I'm going along the background's fading out and that is a lot nicer key than what I'd selected with the eyedropper. And this just helps a little bit to just try and find the right just find the right um tolerance. That's a good word. I think that'll do for now, and I'm going to click OK on there. And as you can see, there's a few little black areas sort of dotted around in there. So I'm going to use the screen mat. I'm just going to clip the white. I'm going to bring that down a bit. And as you can see, a little black dots fade away. And we're left with a nice clean image. You can also, if you have anything on the back that you want to get rid of, you can use the clip black and you can move that up a tad to just get rid of any white spots and also you, I find sometimes the screen despot black and white they can be quite useful they sort of make it grow a little bit and that can be useful for just filling in little gaps if you don't want to move the clip black and white too much it's very important that those numbers don't get too close together because if they get too close together you end up with them inverting and that's bad if I bring this up and over 50 it'll invert which is not what we want. And you can alter the gain and the screen balance as well to help just get the right effect. And you can add a bit of softness to the key as well if you like, just to make the edges a bit smoother. Now we're going to go back to final result. And that looks pretty good. You can't really see around the edges too much because there isn't a background. I often find sometimes just creating a solid, a layer new solid of a random colour and just putting that behind it 
just helps give a bit more perspective on what you can see because of course with a black background it's not completely obvious as to which parts have keyed and which parts haven't keyed out you could be thinking that it's keyed perfectly but there are holes through everything and the black won't show them up and that's basically how to use a key light every video that you import will be different because of the lighting situations it's always good to try and get as bright a background as you can possibly get on your source video to make it easier to key out and of the contrast between the green and everything else obviously don't wear green it's also advisable not to wear yellow and fiddle with the screen map tools as best you can to get the best result and obviously you can as I did get some pictures just drop them behind the image and suddenly you got some snazzy backgrounds and then of course I've, I had a um, here's a background I made earlier I just drop that behind it you can really put what you want there I've been Adam from DisneyDrama.com and I've just shown you how to key out footage using key light in After Effects